Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Have you ever looked up at the power lines crisscrossing the sky and wondered why they always seem to come in sets of three? High voltage power lines are a common sight, yet their arrangement holds a fascinating story rooted in the principles of electrical engineering. Today, we're going to delve into the science and reasoning behind this ubiquitous trio of wires. High voltage power lines are essential for transporting electricity over long distances, from power plants to our homes and businesses. The reason they typically come in sets of three is due to the use of a system called three-phase electrical power. This system is a standard method for AC electric power generation, transmission, and distribution. But what exactly is three-phase power, and why is it so important? Three-phase power is a type of polyphase system used by electrical grids worldwide. In this system, electricity is generated in three separate waves, each 120 degrees out of phase with the others. This means that at any given moment, one of the phases is peaking, while another is at its lowest point, and the third is somewhere in between. This balance creates a continuous and stable flow of power, which is crucial for both efficiency and reliability. Let's break it down a bit further. Imagine each phase as a sine wave. When one phase reaches its peak, the other two are either rising or falling. This staggered timing reduces the likelihood of power surges and dips, making the system more stable. The consistent power flow means that three-phase systems can deliver more power with less loss, which is why they're favored for high-voltage transmission. Beyond just efficiency and reliability, three-phase power systems offer several practical advantages. For instance, they are more efficient for heavy industrial equipment, which often requires large amounts of power. Factories, office buildings, and other large facilities benefit from the steady and robust power supply provided by three-phase systems. Moreover, the equipment designed to run on three-phase power is generally simpler and more efficient than that designed for single-phase power. Another reason for using three-phase power is its compatibility with transformers. These devices step up or step down voltage levels, making it possible to transmit electricity over long distances without significant loss. Three-phase transformers are more efficient and less bulky than their single-phase counterparts, which is vital for maintaining a streamlined and effective power grid. The adoption of three-phase power dates back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries during the early days of electrical engineering. Pioneers like Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse championed AC power systems, and the three-phase configuration quickly emerged as the optimal solution for large-scale power distribution. Its ability to deliver power more efficiently over long distances revolutionized the way electricity was transmitted and laid the foundation for the modern electrical grid. The next time you see a set of three high-voltage power lines stretching across the landscape, you'll know that their arrangement is no accident. It's a testament to the ingenuity of electrical engineers and the enduring principles of three-phase power. This system ensures that we have a reliable, efficient, and powerful way to deliver electricity from its generation point to where it's needed most. But there's more to the story. The uniformity of three-phase power lines also plays a critical role in maintaining the balance of the electrical grid. Each phase carries the same amount of power, but because they are 120 degrees out of phase with each other, the total power delivered to a load is smoother and more constant than with single-phase power. This smooth delivery is particularly important for sensitive electronic equipment, which can be easily damaged by fluctuations in power supply. Furthermore, the use of three-phase power simplifies the design and operation of electrical motors and generators, which are commonly used in industrial applications. Three-phase motors, for example, have a simpler and more robust design compared to single-phase motors, 
which makes them more reliable and easier to maintain. The inherent advantages of three-phase power also extend to renewable energy systems, such as wind turbines and solar farms, which often generate power in three-phase configurations to maximize efficiency and compatibility with the grid. The adaptability of three-phase power systems to new and emerging technologies highlights their enduring relevance. As we innovate and develop new ways to generate and distribute electricity, the fundamental principles of three-phase power will remain a cornerstone of our electrical infrastructure. This adaptability ensures that we can continue to rely on a stable and efficient power supply, even as the sources of that power evolve. Thank you for joining us on this electrifying journey into the world of high-voltage power lines. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of why these lines come in sets of three and how they play a crucial role in our daily lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.